Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May faves and fails. But I think at this point it would be a missed opportunity for me to not say something in the beginning of this video. Now I will say I was really inspired this morning by my morning calendar and I always share with you guys on Instagram and if you don't follow me there you can follow me right here. I love sharing with you guys every morning my inspirational quotes that I get every day from my You Are a Badass daily calendar. I have talked about it at nauseum at this point, but if you are new here, you may not know. You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living Your Most Amazing Life is one of my favorite books. It has really helped me in tough times, and I have the daily calendar here. And I have a beautiful quote from today that in this moment, where we're at in the world and when I am filming this, now that the world is changing different day by day right now. This was a beautiful um, piece that I wanted to share with you here because I know not all of you have Instagram. This book is really about how to better yourself, how to become the best version of you you want to be. And she kind of talks about our own lives and how we can reflect on them and benefit in our, how we can make ourselves better in our own lives. And this one today just felt so perfect for where we are today in the world. And I'm gonna let you know how I feel about it. So she refers to things like the big snooze. That's a catchphrase of hers, the big snooze. She means that with ego. Like everybody has an ego. Everybody has something about them that they hold on to even if they're not aware of it. And so she refers to it as the big snooze because it's something that can hold you back in life. Today's little quote reads, the big snooze, ego, is like an overprotective Italian mother who not only doesn't ever want you to go outside, but who also wants you to live with her forever. Her intentions are good, but fully fear-based. As long as you stay inside the familiar, risk-free zone of your present reality, the big snooze is content. The big snooze will do everything it can to stop you from changing and growing, especially since you're attempting to obliterate the very identity that you and everyone else has come to know as you. I've mentioned before on my channel how much I believe if you're not growing, you're dying. And I believe that. I want to grow as a person and I always start with this self. That is what I do. I always try to think, how could I improve? How could I do better? What I have the power within me to do is better myself and share things that inspire me and make me feel my best self and how I feel like I can help others. I know my channel is a really positive, happy place for a lot of people and you feel safe here with me and that's why I love this community because I feel safe with you and I feel safe being transparent with you even when it's stuff that may not be the most comfortable to talk about like my hysterectomy I told you very personal things about my life and about my body changing and most people wouldn't do that but I feel vulnerable enough to do that with you and this topic of racism right now is not just right now it's an ongoing thing and I'm really interested in helping my friends because you are my friends. I start every video, hi friends, for a reason because I don't care if you're a girl, if you're a boy, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're black, if you're white, if you're Asian, but I care if you're hurting. <sighs> and a lot of people are hurting. This is not about me, so I'm not gonna sit here and cry on camera because this isn't about me. This is about helping people who need help. End of story. And I'm here to help as best I can. Probably gonna leave a few links in my description box down below on ways you can help, on ways you can help your friends. I know I do not have all the answers and I'm absolutely not perfect. I always strive to improve myself. By the time this video goes up, it will be multiple days in the future and we are changing day by day right now. So I don't even know at this moment what the current hot topic probably is because it is changing rapidly right now. So it would be wrong of me to tell anyone how to feel, tell anyone what to do ever, unless we're gonna talk about doing powders before contours, but that's a makeup story. This is so much bigger than makeup and I just want everyone to know that I love every one of my friends here. I've taken some time to really educate myself on a lot of different things. As a white woman in America, I want to be able to do my part to the best of my ability in the ways that oh, there's no there's no perfect thing to say in these videos. There's no perfect sentence or short elevator pitch speech that I could ever give that would 
resonate with every single person. It's just not possible. But know that I believe it starts with the self. I start here so I can help there. I've been educating myself on more topics than I ever have. I've also taken some time to sign anything that with my name on it that I think is important. And I just encourage everyone to grow as best they can with each other because we are each other's support system. I needed you guys so much this past year in my personal life. And I know other people need you right now in their personal life. So I love you and I am here for everyone. If you want to show some support and love down below in the comments, please do because right now everyone needs to feel the love and not the hate, not the violence, but the absolute reason that this all became a thing is because people deserve equality. End of story. End of story. My house is not currently on fire and as a white woman in America, I feel like it is important for me at this moment to say everyone deserves equal rights. Everyone. I hope we can grow with love and I hope because I am a glass half full kind of person that yes, 2020 has challenged us in so many ways that we take the hardest parts because we're growing through this. We're gonna grow through Corona, we're gonna grow through racism, and it's not gonna be overnight. It is going to be an ongoing educational process for all of us, and I'm on board. Segway, the sound machine is on today because Penny needs it. It's looking like it's going to rain at some point today, and the weather here in Florida has been, oh, you know, all kinds of fun. If you've been hearing that, it is because you may or may not notice. I told you guys in my last video I'd be getting Invisalign. Right now I have the trays out, um, but I do have the buttons on. That's what they call them. They're the little inserts that go on your teeth that help the Invisalign kind of like start lining your teeth up. I'm on, I don't think, I've definitely not had it a full week yet and I'm still adjusting to it. Um, if you follow Jessica Braun here on YouTube, she's done a couple of videos on her own personal journey with Invisalign and that actually helped me. Even though my husband had Invisalign last year actually and he is a direct source for me to use, I still was like, how does a woman that does makeup on the camera multiple times a week do this? Well, she made it look really easy. I'm pretty excited about Invisalign because I think I let you guys know in that previous video that yeah, I'm gonna be straightening out some crowding down here and prepping for an implant back here because I still have a couple of baby teeth. I used to have four, now I have three. <laughs> um, to replace them, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm slowly working away the lisp, but if you hear a little bit of it, it's because I'm still adjusting to Invisalign, having a good time over here, adjusting my face. Let me know if you want to know more about Invisalign, but that's something that is new in my life for the month of May slash into the beginning of June here, so it's important that I bring that up in the beginning because you're going to notice mouth changes. You just are. That's okay. I just got a couple new pieces of makeup here from the BoxyCharm pop-up that are changing what I was going to talk about in this Faves and Fails video. Ah! Yeah, I am wearing some stuff today that is new to me, but one thing I'm wondering if it even is new because it is a lot like a drugstore item but from a high-end brand. I'm still in the investigative research times but I may have found a dupe for a Becca lip liner with a cruelty-free brand that you can get in the drugstore for like four dollars. I'm gonna do investigative research but I'm gonna tell you what it is here still too. Okay where do we start? Let's start from the top and you know I like to start positively. Let's start with some faves. I am loving something that I know some people were concerned about with BoxyCharm because we were all getting a Too Faced bronzer and originally we all were told it was going to be matte and then we got something that has some shimmer in it and not all my babes out there like some shimmer and I was warned and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get in it and I'm going to try it anyway. And the good news is, is I am loving this bronzer that I got from BoxyCharm. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. I have been using this, I mean, for weeks now. I finally had to give it a rest. Maybe the past two, three days I've been doing makeup, I've been trying to go more matte. But then even today, right before I went on camera, I still 
put a little bit of this on right here because I love how it makes my skin look on camera. It makes it look a little blurred maybe, but also it does give that suntan kissed glow for me and it it's it's what I'm with what I'm vibing with at the moment okay please don't look at my nails I haven't been to the salon in god knows how long and the white hairs up front are really bossy I'm doing everything I can while still not going out just yet for you know girly essentials I am loving this bronzer it does a beautiful job and it lasts really well I'm finding that it doesn't fade down and bronzers and blushes can do that but so far this is doing a really good job of lasting on me as well now granted I spend a lot of time indoors so keep that in mind in the pan it's starting to feel a little rough in the area that I use a lot but I feel like what it's doing is like maybe those pearls or whatever are giving that illuminosity in there it really gives it a chance to really shine because I think it does a beautiful job I know it's got some sparkles in it I know that's not everybody's jam I do tap off my brush a little bit and then kind of do this little wave move that I've been doing to really achieve that sun-kissed sunshine summer look <laughs> But I'm really enjoying it. Can I do any more S's while I'm getting used to this? <laughs> I'm such a mess. I really wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this, but I am really liking it. And I thought it was definitely worth mentioning right now because it's the perfect time of year to use it. Something that you guys thought, I thought, everybody thought was going to be a huge fail because it kind of was for the, the job it came to do. But I have reassigned said makeup piece for said job. And now I really use this every day at least I have for the past I think week and a half let's talk about the pretty vulgar concealer that I got from BoxyCharm the reason that I was kind of just like Ugh, about this product in general is because how I like concealer is to be a little lighter than my skin tone so I can really highlight this area but also I need a good coverage I know this can layer okay but it still wasn't giving me the coverage under here that I like a lot but also I was kind of contributing some of the issues I was having with this to the color because it's too warm it's too dark this is uh the middle ground so what I did with this was pivot and use it with my foundations I have been loving and talking about for far too stinking long that you guys already know what I'm gonna say do I even need to say it you probably want to fill it in here for me it's like one of those tests in school where it's like the most obvious thing if it's not it's a, if it's not a dog it's a cat What's the foundation Nicole has been loving and talking about for like a year? CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless. It's boring to you at this point, I know. But I'm at that weird stage again where I'm in between shades, at least for what's in my collection. I've been using a lot of the 232 Nude Beige and a little bit of the 240 Natural Beige, but even then the combination of these two just wasn't cutting it for color matching. And I'm afraid I'm going to say this right now and it's in editing it's gonna look off too but that would be my fault not the makeup's fault because in person um, my face right now is matching my body and it's because I've added in this to my face like I literally put these pump these two on my face kind of all around and then I go back in with this before I blend it all out and swatch it all over my face and it adds this like warm skin tone color that is pretty much close to my skin tone with this. I love the formula of this and I feel like this helps with the color correcting for my skin. So this just really all makes it work. Oh, what did I get on my face? That bronzer. I got that bronzer on my face right here. Let's just call it a beauty mark. It's my Marilyn Monroe moment. What the hell, Nicole? This is why Nicole can't have nice things. She puts things on her fingers, messes up her own makeup and her own videos. Oh, at least she doesn't do beauty videos. Yeah, that's mostly what she does. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Here we go. So I've been reaching for this on the daily to pair with my favorite foundations because I'm still having a hard time with my favorite foundations to get the perfect color match for me. They're always a little too pinky or too yellowy. I feel like this is a great neutral tone so it kind of like balances it all out for me to work with my neutral undertone when these are pulling a little too pink or a little too yellow. A concealer that is in my shop, my stash, that I've kind of re-fallen in love with. It's an inexpensive great brand it is the original 
e.l.f. camo concealer. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. I think they also have a hydrating one now. I do not have that one. I haven't tried it though, but some of you have told me that that one's a good one to try. Um, especially since a lot of you know I'm having skin situations because of my, you know, my hormones changing. So I may still try that at some point, but right now I am using up this shade here, which is medium sand. It's the lighter shade of the two that I have. I have a darker one over here as well for maybe later in the summer, but I've been using this a lot to go under the eyes to kind of highlight the forehead down the nose on the chin and then smooth it out with the blender of sorts I have been loving this a lot and I feel like I got away from this a lot in 2019 like I got it I think in the spring used it and liked it I didn't maybe like it as much as something else that I had in my collection so I just kind of like made this like B string but now that I've been using this more in the forefront and I've honestly used up so many other things like my color pop I think I've used that all up I can't yeah that's gone now I'm almost out of the Too Faced uh I am nearing the end of the Born This Way multi-use, and this one is one that I love, love, love. This one I'll probably repurchase soon because I like it a lot. But I'm trying to use up things in my beauty space. You know how I do. So I'm so happy that I'm really enjoying this. Now, I do feel like, and maybe this is a skin issue, maybe it's not a makeup issue, maybe I should do a this and that eye thing again with my skin and see what's working better. I feel like this may crease a little bit more than this does. But for the price... And on a day that I'm working from home, oh wait, a lot of us are working from home now and this is a pricey item, I love me some e.l.f. I just do. I think it's amazing and it's inexpensive, you know what I mean? And the color match is great for me. It's kind of what I like as far as a neutral undertone that brightens a bit. I like that. Okay, something I'm not loving and I think... <sighs> I don't think it's just color even. I was gonna say that I think that it's mostly the color tone and that's the majority of the issue. If it was a better color tone for me, I think what I would totally do is use it and deal with the rest of it. But I feel like because the colors doesn't work great and I don't really care for the packaging or the item itself, this is probably gonna get decluttered. This is the Dose of Colors lipstick that I got from either a Boxy Charm or a Boxy premium or a luxe they're all starting to mix together at this point mine is in the shade glazed but it looks like concealer lips like right here in my hand and right now on camera it may look like it was a pinky nude shade because that is what i assumed it would be when i first used it i keep trying this off camera because i'm like i'll figure out a way to make it work because this makes me look like i have concealer lips it is that full on, wasn't that a 90s look for a hot second in the mom, in the, in the 90s? Maybe a little? I don't remember. I don't even want to put it on right now because I'm afraid it's going to make it look like it's going to, for the rest of this video, I'm going to have concealer lips. But I know a lot of people have said you can highlight with it and I tried that the other day and maybe I'm just really bad at highlighting my lips. I don't know. Let me try here on camera. But if I mess this up, just know it was in the process of trying to give you the most information about this product possible. Alright, I'm going to take this little guy and I'm just going to go here. You can see how it starts to lighten and you're like, oh, I could see the beginnings of a nice highlight and contour with your lips. It just tends to not work well. I'm using my ring finger so there's less pressure and I'm pulling. You definitely just can't put it on like you normally would. That would not work. If you don't have big enough lips to do this with, this would also be an issue. I'm kind of pressing, leaving the outside so it's got the shade and light thing going. And I guess that looks okay. It's just, I have to be very mindful. And I'm just one of those girls in the morning that's like, get it all on and let's go. Even though I'm not going anywhere. Why am I like that? I don't know. Does this look still too... Concealer lips, does this look okay? I just don't know if this, like the end result looks nice i just don't know and i don't like that this stays up like this all the time you can't twist this down can you no well, can you did i break it i don't know what's happening uh -uh, it just stays up like this so you gotta be mindful you gotta be gentle i'm I swear i'm like a bull in a china shop i'm like let's grab stuff and go i'm not very delicate i don't know how does this look do you like this I'm still on the fence. Definitely not my favorite lippy. Definitely not something that I would just keep in a handbag because this is something I have to pair with other things. This is something I have to be mindful of. It's like eyeliner. It's that extra step. Do I feel like doing it? Usually not. So I don't know if this is going to stick around or not. Speaking of lip products, I have a new pop-up item 
and I have a favorite in here. So I got a few things from the BoxyCharm Pop Up from last month, and one of them is this Becca Ultimate Lip Definer. The one I got is in the shade Blissful. I'm always looking for more of a nude, pinky toned liner because I like to be universal with these things. I put this on yesterday and today because I've only had this for two days. And I kept going, there's something familiar about this. This is very pigmented, it's pretty creamy. I like a manual lip liner if I'm gonna have a lip liner. So this is it, it's more pigmented than I thought it would be so it tends to make my lips look pinker than I maybe thought. So I was like, okay, I just need to work with the color a bit. But then I start thinking even more. Is this Becca product an expensive version of the Jordana lip liner? I told you guys I loved this for years. I learned about it from Carly Bybel a lifetime ago when YouTube first started in the shade Tawny. This is Jordana. I get this at Walgreens. Use this up almost. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're not exact dupes. But dang, they are so close. Becca is on top and Jordana is on bottom. Wow. I mean, that's really close. So if you run out of your Becca blissful lip liner and you are broke, go get some Jordana from Walgreens for like, what, $3.99? Same style too. It's not even like one's a wooden pencil versus a mechanical. Like this is awesome. I love this. I'm about out of this. So it's fun to try something new and this is very creamy. I'm sure that the formulas are different as far as like applications go and whatnot, but I mean, it's a lip liner. I actually think I like the Jordana color better too because it's a bit more nude and it matches my lips a bit better. I know I'll use it. <laughs> I just thought that was really interesting. The past two days I was like, why is this so familiar? Oh, because it's like my favorite lip liner from Jordana. Beautiful, beautiful, saving you money. Something else that I got from the BoxyCharm pop-up is something that I have been really curious about. Well, actually there's two brands I'm really curious about. Becca was part of the pop-up. I wish Hourglass had their powder up there too, but Becca had their soft light blurring powder. This is the one in pink haze. I've officially tried this for two days, so you know how I feel. I always wanna give things a little bit longer time so I can give you a more in-depth review. But first impressions on day two wear. I put this on this morning at the end of my makeup for kind of like that finishing moment and put it on my shoulders and on my chest up here. There's no highlighter on my chest or, or shoulders. It's just this powder. I can definitely see the illuminosity. I also do think, and it could be it's a gray day outside right now, um, it could be the light reflecting it and just eye trickery, but I'm wondering if it does have a pink tone to it, like a little soft pink tone, but it is definitely blurring. Like on my face right now, I am loving not seeing all of my bossy pores I tell you guys about all the time. Like right now, this is how my skin is looking. Granted, I have on really good foundations and concealers and powders. I have the whole meal deal on today, but the finishing touch really like took it to another level that I think looks really nice. It feels pretty blurred. It seems kind of seamless um, in person. I'm really impressed because on camera it you can't always pick up every little bit in detail but in person even I'm pretty pleased so and you know we're our harshest critics right and what I actually used to use it today is the brush that I wasn't sure I was gonna like I think I got from premium this is the opalette beauty uh, powder brush like I was kind of like eh. What I don't like about this is how thick the, the base is because it's going to take up all the room. In my brush caddy over here, it's taking up way too much real estate because of this base, in my opinion. So I'm making this baby do some work. And I used this this morning, kind of sifted it through and just kind of like applied it all over. And I was like, wow, it doesn't make me look shiny even as an oily skin girl. It just makes me look a little dewy and blurred. I need some blur in my life. I'm also so curious about the hourglass blurring powders because you guys and a few other people that I love and love watching and they tell me how it is with their skin, tell me all the time how much the hourglass powders are also blurring and amazing. I learned about that because of the blush that I got from the BoxyCharm pop-up. I feel like I'm getting really good makeup from the BoxyCharm pop-up 
maybe more so than the boxes. Maybe that's just shady shiftiness right now. Nicole, you stop that. I'm just being snarky maybe, but the pop-up's really been surprising me and I've been getting a few gems out of these. Although the boxes are still providing stuff I love, so stop being sassy, Nicole, you stop that. Something else that I've really loved and Adam's really loved, but I'm not gonna bring it out because it might be kind of weird, but I will try to find a picture and put it on camera for you. It's like, I got this from two BoxyCharm pop-ups ago. It's like this body scrubber. I think I told you guys about it months ago and that I would let you know how I felt about it. Adam's tried it recently and he's like, oh, I really do like that. Even as a guy with some like arm hair and stuff you know he's used it on his back his shoulders his chest maybe up higher and he's like you know I really like how this exfoliates my skin I also like it because I don't know about you ladies but you guys ever get bumps on your arms or like on the back of your arms that's always been a struggle for me and I'm finding through my menopause journey and going through skin changes that it's getting better I think on its own because my hormones are adjusting so it's probably a hormonal thing but um yeah, I'm noticing it really helps with those. So that's been such a nice in the shower, just extra piece that's nice for your skin. And it really helps get all that extra stuff off. Oh, I don't have this written down, but speaking of glowy powders, I have been trying in my shop, my stash, this e.l.f. Halo Glow. And I've been okay about it, but I've definitely not been like, oh, I need to pull this out. And I couldn't figure out why. But now that I have this Becca one, now granted, it's got that new makeup smell and I'm only on day two, so keep that in mind. I feel like I was more excited to pull this out than I even was ever when I originally got this to pull this out. So I think I'm gonna be doing some homework on these two to see how they work, how they're different from each other, how they're similar to each other. Maybe I'm gonna find that this is a dupe for this, like I found this is a dupe for this and I just haven't done the work behind it yet. Let me figure all of that out for you because you know I love to save you guys some pennies where I can. Ugh, and I got powder all over me. This brush has actually turned out to be pretty handy too. Not gonna lie. The base though, man, why is it so thick? It's like my base. Why is it gotta be so thick? <laughs> you guys, I love you so much and I always do in my faves and fails shout outs. And this, this month, you know what I wanna do? I just wanna do a little call to action for everyone. Tell us something good right now. Tell us something positive. Maybe build up a friend down in the comments below. If you see someone down there that just needs a little extra love, maybe share some love because you're all my favorites. You are all amazing commenters. I see you guys every single month in my comments and you're being vulnerable and you're extending that trust and love. And I don't ever take that for granted. I take that as a community of like-minded people who just want to connect and spread positivity because that is what I always strive for my channel to be for myself and for you because the world is exactly what 2020 has been for us a challenging growing moment and I am up for the challenge to grow with you and for you and on behalf of me to be a better soul and to be a better person so you are all my absolute favorites I'm telling that to you right now. You're beautiful, you're amazing, your ass looks great today. You're brilliant, you're smart, you're valued, you're important. I love you. Thank you friends so much for watching and if you happen to be new to my loud, weird, crazy, unique channel, hi new friends. I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of these fun, loud, weird, unique videos that I put out every single week. Thank you guys so much. I may be taking a day or two off soon because I haven't actually gotten to do that yet, but you're always good to me like I try to be good to you. Bye friends. <laughs>